Hey everybody, so I'm coming at you guys with a quick, um, I guess, braid out result video. I just took the braids out. I wish I would have did it on camera, but I um, just wanted to show you guys because I really like how it turned out. What I did was I washed and conditioned my hair with the Suave Shampoo. It's a new shampoo. Um, it's like um, some type of treatment keratin it's the new suave keratin shampoo and um, i use the shampoo and a conditioner um, i used a little bit of a leave-in when i was done um first i detangled then i put the leave-in in my hair which is just some fruitiques leave-in conditioner that i got really cheap from target um the two suave shampoos were really cheap from target as well and then i used some um, it's like a hair lotion. I'll show you guys in, um, in a video in the future. But my mother loves it. She's a natural. Um, and she loves curling her hair with it. With the satin rollers. And it's just. I put some of that in it. Because she loves it so much. I'm like let me try it. So I tried a little of that. And then of course a whole oil. And then I just put two cornrows in my hair. I did a cornrow from here. Right here. And then a cornrow right here. And um, I braided my hair like probably 1 o'clock uh, Sunday afternoon. I just took it out at 1 o'clock Monday morning or Monday afternoon. So my hair is still a little damp right here like and right here in the center because I braided it damp. It wasn't wet. I braided it damp and it's still damp. My hair takes forever to dry. And I like my 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 braid outs to be bone dry when I take out the braids but sometimes that's not always the case you know you just can't wait forever sometimes you gotta go to work go wherever you have to go and I have somewhere to go so I had to take my braids out um I have been wearing the um the fab french wig in autumn for the past like week and a half two weeks the one with the bang and I like it I, I feel like it was giving me a breakout across my forehead a little bit because just having a hair constantly on your face I only curled it twice um once on uh well maybe I curled it three times the little uh bang part and I don't know I, I still absolutely love that wig but I feel like the color here is sort of getting a little uh, messy from me curling it even though I only did it three times like it just doesn't feel like smooth hair but okay back to the braid out this is it it's nice and it's loose crinkles it's not too fuzzy or anything i just like how it turned out show you guys the back if i can i don't want my laptop to fall I have it sitting up on the edge of the sofa arm so and um i'm 10 weeks post perm today's monday i'll be officially 10 weeks post perm tuesday because i got my perm 10 weeks ago on a Tuesday so um, basically I'm a day away from being 10 weeks post and really when I'm this far because I only really um, you know I get perms every 12 weeks so usually my hair is like really thick right now I usually just um, <clears throat> do a lot of braids at this point but excuse me I mean I usually do a lot of wigs and just have my hair in cornrows but you see all this new growth for whatever reason, I just, you know, wearing that same wig for a week and a half. And a lot of, I don't really wear long wigs unless I'm on vacation or unless it's a weekend or something. I, I've really gotten into the short wigs. And I feel like I played out the mommy wig. I want to get a new one. Then I wore Fat French for two weeks. And then I threw out, I had another, you know, short wig that I was wearing, you know, daily to work. And. I don't know, it just was making my head look really big. So I had to throw that away too. So I'm just like, let me just try a braid out for a week and a half, maybe two weeks until I get my touch up. And my beautician just had a baby a little while ago. So I don't even know if she's going to be able to do my touch up. So that's scary for me because no one's ever did my touch up for the past couple of years except my sister. And like we did it in the house and it was just like, the worst experience to me because when I was washing out the perm it just was taking forever it was so much perm in my head and I'm not used to washing out perm so I was washing for at least 20 minutes and I still felt like I had a head full of perm and I just was like oh no I'm gonna <clears throat> damage my hair so 
I really don't want a home perm. don't want nobody else to do my perm. So prayerfully, she can do my perm. And I had my engagement photo shoot September 15th. And, you know, that's a couple weeks away. And then my touch-up, I want to get that a couple weeks. So pray for me, y'all. I hope it works out. And I hope I can get my hair done by my beautician. So we'll see. I know she just had a baby, so she needs her time off and everything. But we'll see how things play out. Keep you guys updated. But... Um, just a simple braid out. I'm going to keep it up. I probably will re-braid it every night um, because it's pretty simple. Just two braids. I could put two braids in my hair like in less than 10 minutes. Well, probably 15 minutes. And for my braids to be good and sleek. Sometimes I just do it sitting on a bed or on a computer but watching TV. But th these I did. These standing up in the bathroom looking in the mirror. Um, I combed them out as I braided. So I just wanted this to be really neat and it turned out super neat and really pretty so um i think that is it Larry's on his way to pick me up we're going out with our realtor to look at more homes and i'm excited about that prayerfully we will be in a new home our first home together um within like the next couple months before uh the new year before 2013 if it does fall over to early 2013 i'll be fine but that's also a work in progress so you guys see we have so much going on with looking for a home engagement shoot me focusing on my weight loss i got a couple compliments on oh you look like you lost weight from that previous um i put up the day video when i wore the dress yes i have i lost like seven pounds so um recently so that's pretty good because after i finished weight watchers on weight watchers i lost around 17 pounds and then i probably gained about five to ten seven you know around i gained weight back after weight watchers so now i'm finally like back at my weight after i stopped weight watchers which is basically in the low 140s i'm not ashamed and i want to get into like the mid 130s so we'll see so far the lowest I can get is like 138 and then I'll get back up to 140 142 I'm like staying around that window but I want to get to like 135 maybe even 130 we'll see but um so that's it so this video is about a braid out weight loss hair growth everything but um so that is it nice Larry. hopefully he's here to pick me up so we'll see you guys in the next video